Hey y'all, so we won't make today long. This is day four of a self-love uh, challenge to help you get to where you're going. And um, if you're new here, welcome. I'm just Giovanni. I'm your go-to when it comes to motivation, helping to get rid of those self-sabotaging thoughts, and of course, to find your purpose. Follow me on Instagram at just Giovanni, same as the handle on YouTube. And, you know, we're just going to work through things together. So this is day four of the self-love challenge, um, the self-motivating challenge, whatever kind of challenge you want to call it. But we're helping you to progress. And so I won't make today too long at all. Just here are a few things that I, I really think you need to process to address the inner critic. Right. So in the process of you going through day one, day two and day three, did you did you ever say like this ain't for me? And then you're like, but you know what, I'm going to show up again. So that's the voice in your head that is full of doubt and fear. And oftentimes it will lead us to believe that we are not good enough and that we don't deserve whatever we want in life. Um, maybe that we're not smart or, you know, we're not going to make something happen. We'll never be happy. And it creates fear, y'all. It creates fear and it creates doubt in us and blocks from us doing whatever we really desire or want. And so in some inner critic, it just, it's that voice that takes us to a place where we don't want to go. And it's us, it's us criticizing us. Oh, they're talking about me or they're thinking it's about me. Those people are not worried about you. And even if they are worried about you, why are you worried about them worried about you? The inner critic is that voice that's going to beat us to the punch and knock us out if we let it. Now, assumptions. Just like what I said, it's that inner critic, right? About, oh, they talking about it, they thinking this. We assume that we will uh, be in a bad situation or something that happened to someone else will happen to us. And there is no truth to assumptions, assumptions, y'all. There's no truth to this. It blocks us. It keeps us binded. It keeps us from moving forward. It keeps us from not having those real conversations because we feel like, oh, if I bring this up or if I tell someone, then they're going to look at me differently. They're going to judge me. And so we assume certain things, but we don't, you know, take our concerns to God. Take our concerns in prayer. Take our concerns to meditation to really process, to say, you know, Lord, if I reveal this, despite what the outcome is, I feel good inside. And no longer it's a secret. No longer I have to hide. And so assumptions, pay attention to assumptions on your journey. The next thing that I want you to think about are the interpretations, how you interpret your situation, your feelings, outcomes, and um you know, what you're interpreting versus the reality. And the reality oftentimes could be something completely different. Uh, we misinterpret people often, statements, actions. And you see how they're all connected, the inner critic to the assumptions, to the um, interpretations of, of what we are hearing or what we are viewing. And we can misinterpret a person's actions. And as a result, this impacts how we react and our words and what we do. So just by doing certain things and paying attention to how you react to them is really just helping you align all of those thoughts. Like on this self-love journey, this is about getting to know you, man. Really getting to know you. Like what the heck is irritating you so much every time you see that person? What the heck is irritating you so much every time you go to lay down at night. What is it? And is it, you know, a thought? Is it something someone said? Is it something that you need to release? You have to be able to pinpoint these things because if not, it's going to limit your mindset and your options in life. And so when it comes to options, limiting beliefs, right? Um, we all have them. Limiting beliefs.